Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And so you kind of made up your mind. You're thinking that you're gonna be moving out to Elk Grove, but it can't all be rainbows and sunshine, right? So today we're gonna to go over your pros and cons. Let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. As always, before we move on, please help me out. Hit that like button, subscribe, share this content, and also make sure you ding that bell because we've got new content coming out for you every single week. So getting into the pros and cons of Elk Grove, California. First one, gotta be the affordability, right? If you're in, say the metro area north of Sacramento, uh, price is gonna get up there. They're gonna be in like this 800s, um, even some, some low 800s, uh, 900s, that kind of really push, and especially when you're in Roseville, Rockland, Granite Bay type style. But Elk Grove, Elk Grove, you can now find a house for say about six to 650. And this is a pretty good spread. I'm talking a four bedroom, three bathroom, decent sized backyard, 2,200 square foot plus, so not too bad. So affordability is one of the best things out there. Another thing that's gonna be a pro for uh, your area or Elk Grove is going to have to be the, um, the location, right? So you're south of uh, Sacramento, and to get to Sacramento, if you're looking for government jobs, anything like that, you're looking at about a 25 minute drive. Now, with that being said, um, you're right in between I-5 and 99, which is quick freeway access. But as a con, if you've got to access those freeways, you pretty much got two roads to go on, a couple side street posts, for the most part, two roads. You got Laguna Boulevard and Elk Grove Boulevard. Both of these, depending on what time of day you're trying to get to the freeways or just try to get across town, you're gonna to hit some traffic. Also, be prepared if you are uh, trying to get to one side or the other of Elk Grove, you gotta remember it could take you some time because of the traffic, because of lights. So I always say, hey, if I'm trying to get to the other side of Elk Grove, I might set myself up 25 minutes just to actually get on the other side. Other than that, another pro has to be the uh, schools. They are, I believe, the fourth or fifth largest school district out there in California, and they're actually just going as fast as they can, building as fast as they can for the schools to keep up with all the demand. And I will say that uh, school district really takes care and um, provides for their students. Now, that being said, so far they've been keeping up with everything, but with the growth that's going on in Elk Grove, not sure how fast they can build to actually keep up with the demand of students. So we are seeing a little bit of raise in um, the student count per classroom as we speak. Another great thing about uh, Elk Grove or Pro is also going to be the opportunity, right? Uh, you not only have an Apple campus out there, but you have Kaiser out there. Um, you also now have the new casino that's out there. And uh, you've got that huge auto mall providing a ton of different jobs out there. So opportunity is great. With the growth that's happening out there, we're also getting a ton of diversity, which to me means great food. So whether you're into Mexican food, Indian food, uh, Middle East, whatever food you want out there, uh, even down to the American food, right? You've got a lot of different types of food. Uh, one of my favorite spots out there, they've got a faux place that I um, love to hit up every single time I'm out there. So the food options are endless out there and these again we're gonna go into these are mom and pop shops so the quality of food is just kind of next level okay another I would say this is a pro and con for depending on who you are or, uh, what you're looking for looking for a new build they're building out there like I say the growth is crazy out there but if you're buying in those new builds be prepared you could uh, get into your house and hit, hear people hitting hammer nails for about the next six months before they get uh, those streets or those communities kind of halfway done. So again, pro, if you're looking for a new build, con uh, is once you get in there, just be prepared to be uh, woken up pretty early some days. 
other than that, with those new builds is gonna be another con. Uh, you got a lot of Melaroos, right? They've got to do a lot of infrastructure out there, which they are, but you're going to have some Melaroos out there to help them pay for that infrastructure, right? Pay for the schools, pay for the roads. Um, so be prepared for that. And then another thing that we see a lot of, uh, especially if, when you get into like Laguna Lakes and stuff like that, is you're going to also have some HOAs. Those HOAs out there, I haven't seen anything that's too bad, uh, but uh, depending on where you're at, they can range from a uh, hundred bucks all the way up to a couple hundred bucks, especially when you get behind some of those uh, those gates, right? So my last one here, um, my last con, and I kind of touched on this before, is um, Elk Grove is really spread out. So it's not something that you're going to be able to, uh, you know, jump on a bike really and get to a place. You're not gonna be able to, you know, really just walk anywhere. This city is definitely a car city. Uh, whether you wanna to get to one side or the other, just into another neighborhood, uh, you are going to have to jump into a car to get to your next destination. So just be prepared for that as well. All right, guys, hopefully you got everything that you needed out of this videos. Those are my pros and cons of living in Elk Grove. It's really a great community, uh, but like anything, there are some of those cons. Hopefully, like I say, you got all the info you need out of it. If you need more, leave a comment below. Uh, send us a text message. Me and my wife, Deborah, would love to help you guys out uh, if you're thinking about moving to the Elk Grove area. Other than that, we'll see you on the next video. Have a great day.